Hey y'all, welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'm gonna make some dinner really quick. It's semi-homemade. Y'all see what I'm talking about. But um, I'm showing the carrots because Kroger has a sale right now on organic carrots. It's about six of them in here and they're only a dollar for a bunch. So just in case anyone wants to know. All right everyone, so here's my chicken nice and washed up, ready to go. I have lead quarters over here. I'm not using any powdered seasoning. It's all natural seasoning. Um, that I'm using. I have poblano peppers. These bring a lot of flavor but no heat. Um, I have onions, lemons, thyme, and I'm only going to use some crushed red pepper flakes and some salt. All right, you guys, so as you can see, I zested both my lemons over my chicken as well as my fresh thyme. Now I'm just going to sprinkle and think a little bit of red chili flakes. Probably a half a teaspoon. Believe me, this chicken is not hot. You're gonna add your poblano peppers, half of them, because this is what you're gonna marinate the chicken with at first. Then, of course, you wanna add your salt to taste. I'm using kosher salt. And you're just gonna allow this to marinate, maybe 30 minutes or even up to overnight. You don't have to do a long marination process on here. And I'll get right back. All right, this is my chicken right here ready to go. As you can see, I added the onions and the poblano peppers on the bottom and around the chicken. So just before you put it in the oven, you know we don't waste anything. You're gonna take the lemons, but I'm only gonna use one. I don't want it to be extremely lemony. You're gonna take one lemon and just put the juice right over the chicken. You wanna cover this, put it in the oven on 400. Covered 30 minutes, uncovered 30 minutes. All right, guys, so I have my dishwasher on, so I'm gonna speak up as much as I can. In my pot here, I have my carrots and a couple tablespoons of butter. You're gonna add some sugar. I'm only gonna do one tablespoon. If you like your carrots a lot sweet, then you can add more, but I'm only using a tablespoon of mine. Then you wanna add, what is this one? This one is cumin, a couple dashes of cumin and a couple dashes of coriander. You also wanna season this to taste with some salt. Remember, all ingredient measurements will be in my description box. Then you're gonna take your bottled water, you're gonna pour half of it down in here. What you wanna do is you wanna put it on the stove on medium heat and allow it to simmer until the water reduces and your carrots are cooked through and, and glazed. All right, so this is how my carrots look so far. Um, I'm gonna let it keep reducing until the water evaporates. Y'all, look how glossy and pretty these are. This, of course, is not technically not the correct way to make them, but listen, I told y'all dinner was easy this evening. Right, so yeah, guys, so the reason why I said these this dinner was kind of semi-homemade is because these mashed potatoes are not from scratch. I'm using this Idaho <laughs> this is what I'm using that's in this pot with some water, milk, butter, and pepper. That's all that's in here. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like right here. My glazed carrots, nice and perfect. They're not overly sweet. My chicken is right here, nice and brown because, you know, I removed the cover and let it roast for another 30 minutes. The mashed potatoes, we didn't make those from scratch. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this easy, simple dinner recipe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.